and it was a blend of feelings as some mosques resume across Lagos on Friday. While it was happiness for those who were allowed into the mosque for Jumat prayers, it was anger for those who were almost turned back as worshippers in their numbers thronged the central mosque at Lagos Island. Plus TV's correspondent Miri Chinda was at Friday's Jumat prayers, and this is her report. It's a sea of heads here in this central mosque in Lagos Island. It is August 7th, 2020, the D-Day the Lagos State Government has asked marks to resume. Four months after the COVID-19 restrictions, it is the Friday's Jumat prayer. After a very long time, we are allowed to perform a Jumat service today. And uh, everybody knows that whatever goes up must surely come down. With an overwhelming number of worshippers and a remarkable presence of the elderly at this mosque, Lagos government's COVID-19 guidelines advises that the elderly stay at home. But this 86-year-old says the reopening of the mosque is an answer to prayer. <laughs> While outside the mosque, there is zero social distancing. Inside the mosque, there is an observance of social distancing. There are worshippers who are just not satisfied with the circumstances around the resumption. It's because, that, it's because of that COVID-19, they are not allowed people to enter. As for me, I've been here since 12 o'clock, and they are not allowing me to enter. One of our people allow me to wait to to pray inside his shop there. Don't let all a lot of people come into mosque today. Eh? What number do I want number three, In the answer, in the answer, I came over that time was what we At the Lekki Central Mosque. Prayers do not hold, as the imam tells me off camera that the marks is not fully prepared to resume. Meanwhile, at the central mosque at Victoria Island, congregants are seen making their way into the mosque with a nose cover and hand sanitizer. As you can see, we have to take their temperature first. After taking that, we give them sanitizer to sanitize their hand. After sanitizing their hand, we take their temperature. Then they wash their hands before performing the ablution. They now go inside. But we will make sure everybody must be on face masks. So if, if you are not on no masks, no entry. So we really thank God that we are still alive to come back to Mox. A common thread that cuts across these worship centers visited is that the return to congregational prayer is a sure joy to all worshipers. 2 p.m. and prayers at this max is actually over. Now, one challenge that government will begin to look into is the fact that there are too many people at the max at the same time. From Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.